Well, 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 back here to my anarcho-capitalist game. Dreamworld Javier Millet is a anarcho-capitalist congressman here in Argentina. Really interesting, funny, you can find tons of content with Javier Millet on the internet. You cannot go wrong, the guy is extremely entertaining. I would check Javier Millet out if I were you, if you like libertarians and anarcho-capitalists, this is the guy to check. He can actually become the very first president, the very first anarcho-capitalist libertarian president in history. That's as far as I know. Never before there was a libertarian president in the world and he has a good shot. His numbers are good and he's growing. Now he's hungry and he was joined by Bolsonaro, the Brazilian president, soon to be ex-president of Brazil because he just lost the elections to Lula, a Brazilian populist, shameless guy <laughs> in Brazil. And Bolsonaro managed to lose those elections to a guy that was actually in prison. <laughs> That's the situation in Brazil for you. Javier Millet needs a new, a new wig. I'm going to change their looks so they fit better to the real life, to the real life looks of Javier Millet and Jair Messias Bolsonaro, the myth. But I do, really do not know how Jair Messias Bolsonaro managed to lose those elections in Brazil to Lula. Shame on you, right? The right wing is a shame right now. A shame. Coming, you know, from top to bottom. Let's check it out. What, what's going on in America? Joe Biden won. <laughs> I do not know how, how can anyone lose to Joe Biden, that guy doesn't even know where he is <laughs> and Donald Trump managed to lose the election to to Joe Biden amazing unbelievable but that's the situation in America in the midterms it was another big defeat to for the Republicans everybody thought about a red wave that didn't come at all <laughs> it was the other way around the way I see it anyway coming keep coming south mexico they have lopez obrador yes a leftist a friend of lula yeah a friend of the recent the recent elected president of brazil lula he's a friend and you know, you know people call those those guys communists okay another communist is in the presidency of mexico keep coming down there's cuba do I need even to say anything? <laughs> Cuba, yes. Communist Cuba. Let's keep coming down. Venezuela, Maduro. Yes, Maduro is still in power as the president of Venezuela, leftist. <laughs> that guy is going to die, president of Venezuela, nobody. Is going to do anything about it. It's already a deal done to me. It's done. Let's keep coming down to Colombia. First time ever the left won elections in Colombia. Unbelievable. It is actually unbelievable how you guys on the right keep embarrassing yourselves. Don't you have any shame, any dignity left? <laughs> you keep losing elections everywhere. Let's go to, to Bolivia. Actually, Jeanine Agnes, the Bolivian ex-president, is in jail. <laughs> she tried a coup d'etat, didn't work very well, and she was thrown in jail. I think 10 years. <laughs> Amazing. Let's keep going to Chile. Yes, Chile. Boric won in Chile. Another look. Uh, Another shame in Chile, the guy named Cast lost the elections to a another populist. You know, people think that those, those guys are communists. I don't think so. I think they were just shameless populists, but that's another story. 
in Argentina, well, I live in Argentina, I know what I'm talking about here, <laughs> the right wing lost to, well, to Cristina again, <laughs> yes, Cristina managed to keep herself in power, she's the vice president and she put a, a doll, <laughs> a guy that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything, he's just a, a puppet in the hands of Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner. She's really smart, really intelligent. She knows what she's doing. And as I, I think she saw the situation here in Argentina really difficult, she said, okay, you go. <laughs> I'm just going to stay behind and try to do something in the shades. You know, Cristina is, they, in fact, they just tried to kill Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner. She almost got shot. But that's, that's the, and Javier Millet is coming strong, let's see. But I think his elections will be really difficult here. Let's see, the next year it will be a very interesting year. There is, there's going to be elections here in Argentina. Javier Millet actually has a shot. It's going to be really interesting. And to finish it up, the whole America, Brazil, how can anybody lose to Lula? Unbelievable, Jair Bolsonaro just lost the elections to Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. That man was actually in jail. <laughs> Bolsonaro managed to lose the elections to the populist, shameless populist, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. He's actually really old. He doesn't, it's just like Joe Biden, he doesn't even know what he's talking about anymore. <laughs> and, and Bolsonaro lost the election. But I saw a Bolsonaro really tired, you know, really depressed. I didn't, I didn't see Bolsonaro well in the last debate at all. I thought he was, he almost seemed sick to me as if he was tired of the whole thing, she, he just wanted to give it up. Sometimes I wonder why Bolsonaro got involved with the presidency to begin with. He didn't need to, he had an extraordinary life in Rio de Janeiro, women, money. So the, as soon as he, he got in, into the presidency, his life was a living hell as far as I know. That man was destroyed, and and he cannot he cannot end up in jail. He can be thrown to jail. I'm not kidding about this. There is a very strong movement about throwing, convicting Bolsonaro to jail. So that's the the right wing situation for you guys. Not bright and not a bright future at all. I do not think. Donald Trump has a shot at the presidency. Kamala Harris is a smart, black, articulate. She's going to destroy Donald Trump in the elections, especially with the Roe versus Wade situation. So very bad situation for the right wing everywhere. <laughs> you guys, you, and I think you're never going to win elections again, ever. And I have a reason why I'm not going to, to tell what my reason, why I believe the, the right wing is never going to, to win elections again. I might be wrong, I've been wrong before. But the way I see it, I see it really difficult for the right wing to win anything ever again. Well, it's nine minutes already. Huh? I'm going to recommend you guys to Take a look at Sam Cedar and the Majority Report. He has tons of debates with libertarians that are really funny and entertain, entertaining. I do not not take anything seriously, so it's just for fun. I do not believe in politics at all. In, in a way, I think I have always been a libertarian, you know, about politics at least. I do not believe politics, people in politics care or are doing anything for the people. It's just for themselves, for the money. Nobody cares. <laughs> and that's it for today. See you in my next video and I'm going to leave you an audio of Sam Cedar and the Majority Report. 
Oh, by the way, viva la libertad, carajo. Long live freedom. Damn it. Zurdos, hijos de puta, tiemblen. La libertad avanza. ¡Viva la libertad, carajo! Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.